So the fallout from the Terra Luna, I'm calling it an, an, an implosion. That's what I'm calling it. You know, like something implodes, but then there's explode too. I don't know. Which metaphor do you think works better? Drop in the comments below. Was, was the Terra Luna situation an implosion or an explosion? I don't know. It kind of depends on how you look at life. Glass half full. I don't know. Anyway, sorry for that. Um, if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, every now and then you get a little random kind of a thought from me. So the fallout continues for the Terra Luna thing. I've talked about this. So here's a couple of things going on besides what you see here. South Korea's financial regulator is investigating now firms and companies that are dealing with and advising Terra Luna. Okay, that's the lead story here. But also... Um, the government's going after Terra Luna for supposedly back taxes. Terra Luna doesn't said they don't they don't owe them. It's like seventy eight plus million dollars. Um, there is a class action lawsuit spinning up from uh, one of the largest law firms in South Korea against Terra Luna founders. There's that. Um, there is also the quote air quotes here, Grim Reaper uh, uh, investigative unit. I'm not making that up. That is actually the name of it. There is a Grim Reaper investigative unit in South Korea that has now been reactivated. It was actually not alive. It's been reactivated to investigate the Terra Luna situation and the founders and all that kind of stuff. So it just continues. The fallout just gets bigger. And this is just in South Korea. I fully expect to see uh, more come out of this, i.e. maybe, you know, class action lawsuits coming out of different countries uh, representing, you know, uh, Terra Luna um, uh, coin holders in those respective countries, United States, you know, Australia, whatever it may be, the UK, Europe, all that kind of stuff. It's just kind of getting crazy. Okay. So yeah, so the uh, South Korean financial watchdog has announced an investigation into companies that provided financial services to Terra as part of a larger effort to gauge and manage the impact of the Luna UST crash on the local crypto market. This isn't one of those evolving situations that just continues to get interesting and more interesting. And so if you were impacted by this, uh, my heart goes out to you and I hope that you're in one way or the other recovering and putting plans into place to recover from this um, catastrophic uh, event that has ha has happened. Let's wrap up with a look at the Terra Luna uh, price action here. So real quickly, we're going to look at this. Uh, continues to kind of trade within this range down about 14%. I've said this many times. Terra Luna, as it exists today, obviously has kind of become a really day trader, swing trader uh, play. Um, you know, and there's still a lot of stuff moving forward. And uh, I'll be bringing you Terra Luna content every single day. As always, I appreciate you and I'll see you later. Have a good one.